Okay, so I've been playing around with Lineage or Android 9 on the Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, see my previous video explains a bit more of it, but I thought I'd try and install a few things. Uh, and I've actually just changed the launcher. I'm now using Nova Launcher, uh, just because I had a few problems in closing down some of the apps and I, and I thought I would try this and see how it goes. So if I drag up from the bottom, uh, you can see that I've installed various different apps on here. So one of the ones I had trouble uh, closing down was Amazon Music. So let's see what happens with Nova Launcher and see if that makes it any better. With Android, if you're not used to Android, you can run uh, different skins and, and various things. So, so Launcher is when you press home, it goes back to that. So I'm going to not wait it now. Let's just click on it. Oh, I was playing a track already. So let's just go straight into that. And the sound seems to have improved uh, over the time that I've been using it. So it started off really quite patchy, but it seems to be working right now. Now let's see if I can close this. Yeah, I can. So I had an issue where uh, it wouldn't close the apps uh, and various things. So I'd, I'd try loads of games and things and it wouldn't end up letting me close them. For some reason it doesn't always, yeah, that doesn't always stay up, but that might be something I'm doing. Obviously, it's usually touch that you would use for this. So I've installed the Firefox web browser, and that works pretty well. Obviously, all of this, it's not fully hardware optimized at all, uh, and so it's not going to run brilliantly. I've, had, I've tried loads of games, and I couldn't get anything that, that I really uh, thought was worth showing. Um, I did get a Sega Mega Drive emulator, but I had to put Frameskip on, which is very rare on a Sega Mega Drive emulator. So let's just click on here. I think the Firefox browser definitely works better than the Chrome one uh, on this build, which is which is a bit weird. Um, but uh, but yeah, I just found it was a bit more responsive and the tabs and everything work better. Uh, you can see you've got these shortcuts here. So let's go for YouTube. So the OS is running at 720 uh, and that's how it defaults to and that's fine. You don't really want to go any further than that um, just because it's uh, it's early days and uh, you know, maybe we'll get 1080 over time, Oreo but at the moment Domino's we're better off with 720. So you can see it's a bit jerky on YouTube, but it's all working and, and for me it's already a big improvement over the previous version. So let's see if I can force close that app or close down that app. There you go. So no recent apps. And obviously I can move any of these icons onto the desktop if I want to, uh, which I should have done before doing this video. Uh, so I did Amazon Music. I had TV player working, but I can't see it because I'm too close to the screen. Oh, there it is. So TV player in the UK is like, like live TV channels and it's like a guide. So if you don't have an aerial, uh, it's a way that you can have similar to a terrestrial system or a satellite system. So if I go, let's just go for ITV. Diversity of plants and animals. And you can see, and that seems to play not bad actually. Oh, so I won't keep playing that. Is that going to stop? Yeah. Uh, and then if I try a bit off BBC. <laughs> yeah, not bad really. Dens for adventure. Close down. It's amazing. Hanging out with your friends and family. Family hug everybody. And Dens built to fulfill your dreams. <laughs> So I was, I was impressed by how well that works. Uh, that, that really wasn't so bad considering a lot of the other things really struggle. So let's close that one down. Uh, tune in radio as well. Oh, and I got, oh yeah. Do you get a lot of adverts on Android? Which I, I mean, I'm I'm used to uh, iPhone and iPad most of the time, and I do find that so many of these apps um, have adverts in them. Sometimes you'll get it when it becomes unresponsive, and it'll often say wait. Oh, it didn't say wait. Oh well, that just did LBC. Well, let's just play that. 
message, though, isn't well, it? Well, not from the government, no, because the planning oh. system that we have created mitigates against coal. Nick Ferrari at breakfast. With Zero, Get your business digital ready with Zero Accounting Software. LBC. Play along with our 10-second teaser. Ready? What is the only number not represented in Roman numerals? There you go. So that, was, that wasn't so easy to stop. I had to try that for quite a while to get that to stop. Uh, so let's close that down. Uh, there was something else I wanted to try, which was something called... Oh, that calls that up, does it? But only some of the apps. Frequent, recent... Oh, it's like a shortcut thing, is it? Frequent, recent, new and updated. Oh, yeah. Um, so, what else was there? Tuning radio. Uh, yeah, so Game Snacks is a HTML5 game system where basically you can just jump in and out of, of a game through the browser, a bit like the old sort of Flash games. Uh, but some of the games looked pretty decent. Now, I haven't tried it on on this yet. Uh, I tried it on my iPad, so it wasn't going to be a struggle on that. But I figured at the moment while Game Snacks, The Verge... You can see it's not... Oh no, it was letting me select it. I was thinking it was going to change to a different pointer, but I suppose I am using a mouse, so maybe it's going to work a bit differently. So, I like a skiing one here. It's interesting to see how this will run at 720. Oh, yeah, well, it's fine. Uh, and you're just basically pressing the button. Oh, even on, even on these games, it's, uh, it's still a bit laggy, which is not good. So, let's go back. But this is something you can try on your phone uh, if you just want to have a look at some new games. Oh, it opens in a new tab on this. So what else did I try? There are games developers. Where did I see that? That is, click on games. And yeah, games developers. And then they have their own games within here as well. Now, which one? I did a basketball one, which was quite good. That one there, I think. So you can see it's it's still slow, but there's great hope. The fact that it's that it's definitely got better in the last update uh, over this one. There you go. More adverts. Skip ad. So if we drag away, you can see I can move the mouse. It's not ideal because it's, cause it's uh, a little bit jerky. But it'd be interesting to see how things like this change over time, wouldn't it? Oh, and these, if you, if you hit there, they're, they're actually like defenders, so you've got to go above that. Let's try that off the backboard. Oh, it's a bit swooping. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I don't know if he's a defender or if he's on my side. Might be on my side. So this one obviously got to go through the middle. Not the easiest. You can see you can see by my mouse movements a bit jerky. Oh, not great. So that's that. Uh, I usually do uh, Hot UK deals. Let's just call that up just to show you the web browser's working. He says, there you go. Well, I'm definitely getting more uh, reliable shutdowns with the Nova launcher. Oh, drag that up. Uh, that's interesting. So drag up. What else did I try? Streets of Rage was too slow. Uh, all the other games I tried were too slow. Really, Roblox didn't really work at all. Uh, so let's go for the Mega Drive one. Was there anything else I wanted to try? Yeah, let's do the Mega Drive one. So this is a Sega Mega Drive emulator. I've got an Xbox controller plugged in. And as you can see, it recognizes it. So load ROM. I've only got one ROM on there.
more adverts. So you can hear the sound isn't isn't good. Start and select work as buttons, so as they would in the Mega Drive. And this is, I think this is with frame skip on, on two. So it's playable, but it is still a bit slower than it would be, because this is a very fast, always a very fast game. There you go, so a bit of emulation on Android, on Raspberry Pi 4. Yeah, this you can't, oh. Oh, my spears are going right through him. So let's see if this closes down. Uh, so if I use my mouse, let's go up to the top. I'll also I'll check the settings to see if I did, because I'm sure I had frame skip on, two, yeah, frame skip on two. And I changed to point filtering, which seemed to speed it up a little bit. Uh, but, um, so let's hit the square and then drag up. Yeah, so I'm definitely, that trebuchet bit that, that was uh, not allowing me to close apps occasionally and it would just hold, that seems to be much better now I'm using the Nova Launcher. And I guess if I right click, no. So if I, let's just see, because I did used to use the Nova Launcher. I remember it came, the paid for version became free for a while. And I don't know if you have to pay for it normally. So let's, oh, let's drag up. You just, it's, I can't get that, is it halfway? Hold it for a bit, yeah. Uh, so Nova settings. Yeah, look, there's all sorts of things on here. Home screen, grid, icon layout, layout dock settings and more. App drawer, folders, look and feel. All sorts of things that you can play around with on that. So anyway, I'll keep trying this out and uh, seeing what else I can get and also if new updates come along. I'll let people know, but thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.